And these are some of this is how you can get information on what we're doing today. Uh, this is the main homepage on uh, the city of Valdosta's main website. We have a sanitary sewer system improvements link on that. We do press releases. Whenever we have spill, we have EPD requirements we have to we have to do. Uh, so we not only put it to the paper, we can do it all over and you see that next paper. Do you but notify other counties? We or? know that we're required by the, the EPD regulation to notify EP we have to notify EPD within twenty four hours of the spill. We also have to notify the health department. And that's that we have an ongoing spill. We have to identify the receiving waterway, whether it's a creek or a drainage ditch or whatever. For those that do a water, uh, a water of the state, then we have to do a public notice. We actually have to post signs downstream of where the spill location is. I mean, there's a, and I can go over a little bit more detail on that. But well, we have certain requirements. We're only required we, to notify EPD and the health department right. that that's who we, we do. We do. We also, yeah. yeah, we also notify the Florida Department of Health. Yeah, right. Because they had called us saying, please yeah. notify us. And we don't have a problem notifying them. Yeah, that's right. how we and find we out. Each right. and every other day. Right. Yeah. And also, yeah. So, yeah. I think that that's part of the, the problem is people don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I, we've got some examples we can share with you at the end of it if you, if you like to about, you know, what the impacts really are. I mean, no sewer spill is good. And the goal is zero. Right. But they do have. I mean, this is... If somebody asks to be notified, we can't notify every individual. Well, no, not an there. individual, but like yeah. a county, for example. We we can do that. We just get and what? Let me just say, you know, the last time we tried, we had Florida Department Health. I think we even had uh, the Leos, uh, Swanee River. It was Eric and Swanee River Water Management District. And yeah. what did you learn yeah. to? We they gave us contact information, right. email information, yeah. email no. Person's gone. Well, All the information. Well, person's think, gone. Yeah, and I think and what happened is one of our early meetings, we had this discussion of <clears> when should people be notified? Because when you hear spill, I think immediately people will think massive spill. Mm -hmm. So when we discussed that, we said, okay, we'll notify the Florida Department of Health and help them. And what they do is I think it's a combination between their staff as well as the Water Management District and um, DEP. They actually will do set the up, sampling. Yeah, they'll set up a sampling site. And so, for example, we had Blanchard Street, and that was one of our examples in the previous one. Media actually said it was a plant spill when it was a sewer main break in a different watershed. Um, so immediately they were notified. They sent out sampling and found out um, it was basically like 0.003% in terms of overall water. So like we don't even need to send out a notification. So there again, as soon as they're notified, that's why the Florida Department of Health will issue that warning. Um, and then of course they will, I think, issue another one when they actually find out there is an issue to the fecal is too high. Well, you have to watch that. that absolutely. They already said they already said they were yeah. so. And one of the unique things, and I think a lot of people miss this, is that when you have heavy rain events, all floods, the fecal levels in the river shoot way up. And that's because that water, all that runoff, is collecting all the manure, the livestock operations, all the domesticated animals, dogs, cats. Uh, wildlife in the watershed, all that gets run washed in. And we actually have some, we've been starting to collect data on the river coming into the, on the Lithicucci coming into the city and where it after the treatment plant. And we can see those spikes when that water starts to come up. And once that water level stops to drop, that watershed that they've been flushed out, all that fecal is gone. And no, they start level. Well, yeah, <laughs> but but that happens in Florida too. I mean, it's the same thing. It's the same beast yeah. that we're that we're facing. Hey Henry. Yes, sir. I hate to interrupt, but just so we don't get away from it. As far as notification, this lady right here can hook you up. Well, I want to say that also, in addition to that, we do, um, in Florida Department of Health, we also send it to the Swanee River Management District, and also, um, like for example, you said, can a county request to be on that list absolutely and we also sent it to congressman ted yoho i don't even know who that is but i guess he's a congressman i mean and that. our contact information is only as good as what somebody gives us if right. somebody leaves or they move yeah. on so several people and we got to start calling and say okay who do we send it to now who do we notify well, now? and i think you really hit it on the head too when somebody hears it still they think it works right. absolutely and, and, well and that's one thing we've talked about so, we hear six hundred thousand gallons that 
You think 600,000 gallons of just pure raw 